As terrible recent conflicts have shown, the fighter aircraft is far from dead and can prove vital for a nation's survival. The most modern fighters can shoot down an enemy aircraft at a range of 100 miles, perform precision attacks against multiple ground targets simultaneously, and grant their pilots a godlike level of situational awareness across thousands of square miles of ground, sea, or air. Modern fighters need to be extremely potent, as they are massively expensive and so available in ever smaller numbers. Some fighter types emphasize stealth, others electronic wizardry, performance, or durability, but each is ingeniously conceived for the same deadly purpose, destroying an enemy as quickly as possible. Here are the 11 best fighter aircraft of 2025. Number 11, Lockheed Martin F-16, Fighting Falcon. Conceived as a light, simple, and energetic dogfighter, the Viper, as it is informally known, has matured into a complex middleweight, multi-role aircraft, but remains a nasty opponent in the knife fight in a phone booth of close air combat. Despite this, the U.S. Air Force, the type's primary user, has largely used the F-16 in the ground attack role. The F-16 is the most common modern fighter and is operated in many air arms around the world. Operators of the F-16 include the United States, Bahrain, Belgium, Chile, Portugal, Denmark, the Netherlands, Pakistan, Indonesia, Israel, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Greece, Turkey, Taiwan, Thailand, Oman, the United Arab Emirates, Morocco, Romania, Singapore, Slovakia, South Korea, and Venezuela. The latest versions have extremely capable sensors and modern cockpits. Though it lacks the performance of the newer generation of fighters, especially at higher speeds and altitudes, it remains highly credible. As an American fighter, it enjoys access to a wide variety of sophisticated sensors, weapons, and systems. The F-16 is not stealthy and lacks a long-range air-to-air missile, meaning there are scenarios where it could be at a dangerous disadvantage against an aerial opponent armed with either the European Meteor, Russian R-37, or Chinese PL-15, all of which outrange the F-16's AIM-120, Advanced Medium Range, Air-to-Air Missiles, AM-ROM. Number 10. Sabjas 39. Gripen C-D Despite its population and budget, Sweden has defied expectations to create a series of highly capable and extremely innovative fighter bombers. While better known for their cars since the 1940s, the Swedish company Saab has been in the combat aircraft game, enabling Sweden to uphold its position of declared neutrality. It, however, joined NATO in 2024, seemingly spurning macho desires to make fighters ever faster, heavier, and more expensive to operate, Swedish manufacturer Saab took great care to emphasize more sensible and boring qualities with the Saab JAS-39 Gripen. This effort led to a maintainable fighter punching well above its lightweight and small size. For a modestly sized nation whose government does not have global dominance on its agenda, the key aim is deterrence ensuring that any country wishing to invade or dominate you cannot easily do so. For such a nation, Gripen's armed with the Meteor long-range air-to-air missiles might be the ultimate air defender, especially when combined with a well-integrated air defense system and dispersed bases. Never being far from the border or a base, fuel and even weapons load don't matter so much because the Gripen can scoot back to a cave base and rearm and refuel. The Meteor enables threats to be defeated while keeping out of their missile range. The next generation Gripen E will merit a higher position in any top 10 once it enters full frontline service. Number 9. Mikoyan MiG-31 Foxhound Russia's MiG-31 is at the opposite end of the weight and size spectrum of the diminutive Gripen. It is not a fighter as such, but a heavyweight interceptor designed to defend against bombers from long distances. Conceived in the Cold War, it remains in service today where it offers a unique combination of unbeatable top speed, 3,000 km per hour, and long-range missiles in the form of the R-37M. As a defender against bombers, the MiG-31 may well be the most potent interceptor in the world. Being such a large country, Russia has to have a big, fast aircraft capable of covering a large distance at high speed to meet the threat. 
Being big means that a big sensor and long-range weapons can be carried, and the Foxhound's Zaslan M radar is indeed large, as are the Foxhound's R-33 and R-37 missiles. You may be less concerned about signature and platform maneuverability because your ideal approach will be to stand back and hit bombers rather than engage fighters. The reasons it does not rank higher in this list are threefold. It is likely the least stealthy of all modern fighter aircraft being extremely easy to detect on either radar or with infrared sensors, thanks to its massive hot engines. Russian sensors and electronics are not as effective as Western or Chinese sets, and as such, the MiG-31 pilot is at a situational disadvantage despite the brute force of his large radar and access to data-linked information. Number 8. Sukhoi Flanker Series In the 1970s, the Soviet Union created the Sukhoi Su-27, an extremely large air superiority fighter, assigned the NATO reporting name Flanker, largely to counter the US F-15 Eagle. It remains in service around the world today with many air forces, including China, India, Russia, and Ukraine. The Su-27 can carry a very large number of air-to-air -air missiles, 12, fly great distances, and at lighter operating weights, when it is not carrying much in the way of fuel or weapons, demonstrates astonishing levels of maneuverability, which in some variants is aided by thrust vectoring. Its large, powerful radar is capable of detecting aircraft at extreme ranges. The Sukhoi Su-35 represents the most advanced Russian flanker, but other candidates for the most potent member of the flanker series include the Chinese J-11D and J-16. The latest Chinese flankers are radically updated aircraft with reduced radar cross-section and are fitted with active electronically scanned array AESA radar, something not carried by any Russian flankers. Flankers are easy to see on radars due to their size and shape, though their defensive electronics are highly regarded. Russia's attempt to replace the flanker with the Su-57 Felon has not gone well, with only a small number of Su-57s created to date. The Su-57 is stealthier than the Su-35, but is not yet at a credible level of maturity to be included in this list. Number 7. Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon In the 1980s, China was making military aircraft equivalent to those made in the 1960s in the US and USSR. Since then, China has lapped forward, creating some of the most capable types currently in production, its lighter J-10 and JF-17, narrowly avoiding placement in our top 10. Other than its radically upgraded flankers, Chinese most potent fighter is the J-20. China is the second nation in the world to put an indigenous stealth fighter into operational service. With its extremely long-range anti-air weapons, this relatively stealthy platform could prove formidable. It has the size to carry a lot of fuel and a very large internal weapons bay, providing sufficient volume for a wide range of weapons. Stealth, Super Cruise, the ability to cruise at supersonic speed without afterburner, and modern weapons mean the J-20 is likely to mature into an extremely capable aircraft, unique in role. Achieving this depends on the degree to which China can overcome its problems with engine development. The J-20 is less stealthy than the F-22 and F-35. One F-35 pilot has stated that he doesn't believe the J-20 is low observable in a meaningful sense. Further knowledge about this type may earn it a higher ranking in this list but little concrete is known about it. That this, along with the immature and troubled Russian Sukhoi Su-57, are catalysts for the next generation of fighters is a sign that it is taken seriously in high circles. Number 6. Boeing AF-18 EF Super Hornet The mainstay of the United States Navy, the Super Hornet is a multi-role fighter bomber designed to operate from aircraft carriers. It is loved by its crews for its excellent systems, reliability, and ease of handling, a vital quality for an aircraft that has to land safely on aircraft carriers. The Super Hornet is akin to a luxury sports car without a big enough engine. It has all the bells and whistles, a very powerful advanced radar, reduced radar cross-section, an excellent cockpit, data-linking capability and good weapons, but lacks the grunt to make the most of its superb systems at higher speeds and altitudes. At lower air speeds, 
No aircraft without thrust vectoring is more agile than the Super Hornet. Its almost supernatural ability to point its nose in any direction it wants is legendary, as is its ability to fly high alpha maneuvers, flying with the nose raised relative to the direction of flight. The weapon's carriage, the way the bombs and missiles are carried, is among the draggiest of any fighter. If the U.S. Navy receives the new generation long-range air-to-air missile it wants, it is likely that the Super Hornet will be the first to receive it. Along with the Rafale, the Super Hornet, with its superb systems and weapons, is one of the best all-rounders. Number 5. Eurofighter Typhoon The Eurofighter Typhoon is all about power and performance. It is one of the fastest climbing aircraft in the world, perhaps the fastest, and one of the best turning. Created by the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Spain, it is perhaps the best armed fighter in the world for beyond visual range combat. The Typhoon is very fast, high-flying, and energetic, imbuing its AIM-120, Advanced Medium Range, Air-to-Air -air Missile, AMRAM, and Meteor Missiles with a longer reach than those launched by lower-performance aircraft. It is combat-proven in both the air-to-ground and air-to-air -air roles. It is also armed with two of the very best infrared guided short range missiles, the exceptionally fast ASRAM and the extremely agile Iris T. The Typhoon pilot can wear an advanced helmet that can both display vital information and assign targets, making the pilot's job much easier. Points that count against the Typhoon are its major cost and absence of radar stealth technologies. Its cockpit interface is not the most modern nor is the radar fitted to the Typhoons operated by most of its operators. The Typhoon has proved popular with the air forces of the Middle East. Number 4. Boeing F-15 Eagle Few fighters have been so highly regarded for so long as this large American fighter. Despite first flying as far back as 1972, the best-equipped Eagle remains among the deadliest fighters in the world. The Eagle's kill-loss ratio in aerial combat of 104 to 0 is without precedent and is unmatched by any other fighter in history. The Eagle combines a large world-class radar, in some variants, offering unmatched detection range, with great range and a large missile load. Unlike European, Russian, and Chinese counterparts, it currently lacks a long-range air-to-air missile a serious omission that means it can be shot before it can shoot back in some long-range scenarios. The F-15 is operated by the air forces of the United States, Japan, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Korea, and Qatar. The F-15AC series is optimized for the air superiority role, whereas the F-15E Strike Eagle is designed for ground attack and multi-role use. The most advanced F-15 variant in full operational service is likely the F-15QA. The next variant for USAF, the F-15EX Eagle II, currently in service in small numbers, will be the best equipped fighter in the world and will be radically different to the Eagle of the 1970s. Number 3. Dassault Rafale France's Dassault Rafale is a multi-role fighter bomber available in both land-based and aircraft carrier compatible variants. It is perhaps the best all-rounder on this list, with only the Super Hornet offering serious competition. It is well-armed and can carry the long-range Meteor air-to-air -air missile, as well as the shorter-ranged Amica, and carries what is likely the best aircraft gun, the 30mm GIAT. The Rafale pilot enjoys excellent situational awareness thanks to a wide range of capable sensors, including a small but sophisticated electronically scanning radar and a highly regarded suite of defensive electronics. The Rafale is designed to switch easily between roles on the same mission with exceptional rapidity. The Rafale can also carry laser and GPS guided bombs, anti-shipping missiles, and cruise missiles. The aircraft enjoys very brisk acceleration rates and has excellent maneuverability, especially at lower altitudes, and has held its own in exercises against the best fighters in the world. The Dassault Rafale does not enjoy the same levels of high-speed, high-altitude performance as the Typhoon and Raptor due to a more modest thrust-to-weight ratio. It also lacks the stealth of the F-35 Lightning II and the F-22 Raptor, but despite this, it is a highly regarded and widely respected fighter. Number 2. Lockheed Martin F-35 
Lightning II, the Lockheed Martin F-35. Lightning II was designed to excel in the attack role and to be used in conjunction with a specialized air dominance fighter, the F-22. But its stealth and the situational awareness it gives its pilots make it a fearsome opponent in the beyond visual range fight in its own right. According to RAF Wing, Commander Scott Williams, the BVR capabilities of the F-35 are second to none, really? First to see is, first to shoot is first to kill. I recently heard a comment from someone that, flying the F-35 is like going into a boxing match and your opponent doesn't even know you're in the ring yet. Williams notes of the boxing comparison. I like that comment because our lethality in the F-35 is enhanced by being able to deliver the killer or knockout blow to our opponents before they get enough awareness on what's going on to prepare or do something about it. The F-35 is about stealth and situational awareness, at the cost of the rather more exciting traditional fighter virtues of speed and turn rates. It is available in a conventional land-based variant, the A, a short takeoff and vertical landing, STOVL, aircraft version, the C, and a naval version with larger wings. Number 1. Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor Creating the world's best fighter aircraft costs a great deal of money, and the U.S. spared little expense in developing the superlative Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. The Raptor was created in the late Cold War to rival two new Soviet fighters, the MiG-29 and Su-27, both of which were a serious challenge to U.S. supremacy. Additionally, a new generation of Soviet surface-to-air missiles threatened to shred any conventional, non-stealthy, aircraft approaching Warsaw Pact forces. Combining the then-new technology of radar stealth, making the aircraft harder to detect by radar, supercruise, the ability to get to and sustain faster than sound speed without recourse to afterburner, and integrated avionics seemed to offer the solution. It was very expensive, even for a U.S. military program, but the result was impressive. Since entering service in 2005, the Raptor has utterly dominated every other fighter facing it in training exercises. The first of the so-called fifth-generation fighters, the F-22 Raptor is still the fighter to beat. Combining uncanny situational awareness with stealth, high speed, Mach 2.25 with afterburner, or 1.82 without it, and exceptional maneuverability aided by steerable thrust nozzles, the Raptor is a nightmare for any fighter to defeat. Even today, the closest rivals, the immature and rather rare Su-57 and Chinese J-20, are considered less stealthy than the F-22, making them vulnerable to this aging but formidable heavyweight. On the downside, the F-22 lacks range, is extremely maintenance-heavy, and is available in relatively small numbers. Only America uses the plane, and currently has around 183 F-22s. Only with the next generation of fighters will the Raptor be truly outclassed, an incredible achievement for an aircraft project started in the 1980s. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.